it's a really strong field and it was going to be hard and I was going to have to work for it. Uh, but I gave it everything and I knew no matter what, as long as I gave it everything on the day, I could walk away, um, head held, held high. I was prepared to lead uh, and um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to play to my strengths today and it was hot and it was a grind, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with that. The Olympic marathon trials really like that broke my heart. That was so hard to go through. I went all in on this, trying to make the 10K team and uh, had a lot of help with my husband. He's been training with me like every step of the way. And um, this is the fittest I've ever been. So um, I'm really happy it worked out today. Just right. relieved, relieved, really happy that, it's, that she made it. She ran so awesome. She looked great. Relieved it's over too. But the whole race plan was just to stay as relaxed as possible and really just like chip away at the lats. I, the goal was kind of not to pay attention to the lap counter until later, but they kept shouting every lap at me. So <laughs> that didn't happen, but it was definitely a brutal one out there. And it was just kind of like, really get to the last mile and grind it out. I hope to double. I mean, that's, that's a brutal race to run, not to race it. So I think the 5K is really my focus. I would love to run the 10K. I think it's a really new event for me and I really want to like dip my toes into that. I had high hopes that um, I could make this team just because even though I haven't been racing track, like I've, I'm just a different athlete than when I was running track. But, uh, you know, I, I made all the right moves I needed to. I just didn't have it. And those girls are really strong. Yeah, Emily Sisson, I'm so happy for her. You know, we both had to drop out in Atlanta at the marathon trials and kind of got thwarted by that ridiculous course. And so I, I'm so happy that she made the team.